In our daily lives, we often marvel at the speed of light, a constant of the universe that races at approximately 676 million miles per hour. It's a concept so deeply ingrained in our understanding of the world that it's become a benchmark for speed itself. Yet how often have we stopped to consider its elusive counterpart, the speed of darkness? So what is this concept of the speed of darkness? Is it merely a philosophical musing or does it have a tangible presence in our physical reality? Does darkness even have a speed or is it simply the absence of light and thus devoid of any speed of its own? These are the questions we will embark on exploring today. Imagine for a moment that you're in a room filled with light and suddenly the source of that light is extinguished. The room plunges into darkness almost instantaneously. We perceive this as the speed of darkness, but is it really? In essence, the speed of darkness is not so much about the darkness itself, but rather the absence of light. It's a concept that challenges our understanding of the world, pushing us to think beyond the boundaries of what we perceive as reality. It forces us to question the very nature of darkness and light and their interplay in shaping our perception of the world. However, this is not a journey we'll be taking alone. We'll be guided by the wisdom of scientists, philosophers and thinkers who have pondered these questions for centuries. We'll be venturing into the realms of physics, philosophy and even into the world of fiction and pop culture where the concept of the speed of darkness has been explored in intriguing ways. As we embark on this exploration, let's remember that we are not merely seeking answers but rather we are probing the darkness, delving into the unknown and challenging the norms of our understanding. Now let's delve into the actual definition of the speed of darkness. So what exactly is the speed of darkness? A question that has titillated minds and sparked debates, isn't it? Well, let's embark on a journey to unfold this enigma. When we talk about the speed of darkness, it's important to understand that we're not dealing with a physical entity or a measurable phenomenon like the speed of light. Instead, the speed of darkness is a philosophical concept, a metaphorical exploration. Imagine for a moment a room bathed in light. Now switch off the light. The room plunges into darkness almost instantly, doesn't it? This transition from light to dark, this speed at which light vanishes, that's what we often refer to as the speed of darkness. Darkness, in its simplest form, is nothing but the absence of light. It doesn't travel or move. It merely exists where light does not. So when we talk about the speed of darkness, we're actually talking about how quickly light can be removed from a space. Picture a sunset. As the sun dips below the horizon, the landscape is gradually enveloped in darkness. The speed of this encroaching darkness is determined by the rate at which the sunlight is disappearing. It's not that the darkness is moving in, but rather the light is moving out. Now consider a solar eclipse. The moon moves between the earth and the sun, blocking the sunlight. The areas under the moon's shadow plunge into temporary darkness. Here, the speed of darkness is dictated by the moon's shadow moving across the Earth's surface. In both instances, it's not the darkness that is moving or changing speed. It's the light that's being obscured or removed, causing the perception of darkness to move. So while it's a fascinating concept to ponder, remember that the speed of darkness is not about darkness at all. It's about the light, its presence, its absence and the transitions between the two. In essence, the speed of darkness is the speed at which light leaves. The speed of darkness, however, isn't as straightforward as it sounds. It's a concept that weaves together the mysteries of physics, the dance of light and shadow, and the limits of human perception. Let's dive into the heart of darkness, shall we? Imagine a room bathed in light. Suddenly the light source is turned off. Darkness rushes in, right? But how fast? You might be tempted to say it happens instantaneously, but that's not quite right. Darkness in this scenario appears to travel at the speed of light. This is because what we perceive as darkness is simply the absence of light. And light travels at a constant speed in a vacuum, approximately 186,000 miles per second. Now let's consider a different situation. Imagine a bright sunny day, a bird soars overhead, casting a shadow on the ground. As the bird moves, so does the shadow. But here's the catch. The shadow can move faster than light. Sounds impossible, doesn't it? But it's true. Here's why. A shadow is not a physical entity. 
It does not travel like light or sound, it's the result of an object blocking light. And while the speed of light is fixed, there's no limit to how fast a shadow can appear to move. If the bird flies quickly enough, the shadow can cross a surface faster than light could travel the same distance. Darkness, then, is not a uniform concept. It's a chameleon changing its behavior based on the circumstances. It can move at the speed of light, or it can move faster. It can be instantaneous or gradual. It can be absolute or relative. And so the dance of light and shadow continues, bound by the laws of physics, yet defying our expectations. It reminds us that our understanding of the universe is still evolving, still unfolding. It challenges us to look beyond the surface, beyond the obvious. So the speed of darkness can be more complex than it initially appears. It's a journey into the unknown, a journey that continues to fascinate and bewilder us. And it's a journey that we, as lovers of cinema and seekers of truth, are privileged to explore. The concept of the speed of darkness has also captured the imagination of many in popular culture. Let's delve into the world of storytelling, where the speed of darkness finds a unique place. It's not just a concept studied by scientists, but also a potent metaphor used by creative minds across different media platforms. Take literature, for instance. There's a certain allure in describing darkness as a swift, encroaching entity. It's a symbol of fear or the unknown, creeping up on characters when they least expect it. Authors use it to create tension, suspense, and to give life to the intangible. Then there's the realm of cinema, where the speed of darkness isn't merely a metaphor, but a visual spectacle. Filmmakers often use it to symbolize impending doom or the arrival of a supernatural entity. Think about those scenes where darkness sweeps over a landscape, transforming a cheerful day into a night of terror. It's a cinematic technique that leaves an indelible mark on the audience's mind, making the speed of darkness a character in its own right. And let's not forget about television. From fantasy series to crime thrillers, the speed of darkness has a recurring role. It's a device that adds depth to the narrative, hinting at secrets hidden in the shadows or danger that lurks in the unseen. In the world of video games too, the speed of darkness often plays a crucial role. It is used as a game mechanic where players must navigate through rapidly encroaching darkness, thus adding an element of thrill and urgency. It's fascinating to see how this scientific concept has transcended its literal meaning to become a tool of storytelling. The speed of darkness in popular culture is more than just how fast light disappears. It's a symbol, a narrative device, a visual spectacle, and a catalyst that drives the plot forward. Thus, the speed of darkness is not just a concept, but a muse for creative minds. So, we've journeyed through the concept of the speed of darkness. We began by probing the enigmatic entity we call darkness, exploring its ethereal essence. We then delved into the intriguing question, what is the speed of darkness? We discovered that unlike light, darkness doesn't have a speed in the conventional sense, it's not a thing, but rather the absence of something. Light. We ventured further into the complexities of darkness, understanding its intricate relationship with light and perception. It's not just a physical phenomenon, but also a mental construct, a symbol, an idea. We also touched on how this concept has been portrayed in popular culture, shaping narratives and influencing our understanding of the world around us. Be it in literature, cinema, or even music, the speed of darkness has an omnipresence that's hard to ignore.